video, we're going to discuss error handling in Ruby. And you may wonder why this is important, and hopefully by the end of this section, you'll have a good understanding not only how to handle errors, but also how important it is to manage these properly. Uh, some great examples I can think of are being able to know what's wrong in your application and to not just do it on the fly so not just handle errors as they come up but actually be able to organize them document them so that you can fix them in your application so to start off i'm going to show you the basic syntax for how it works so i'm going to throw an error by saying puts eight divided by zero hit save come back to the terminal and now run this code and this is going to uh, this is going to throw an error. So I hit return, run it, and it says uh, divided by zero, zero division error from error handling lessons shows uh, which line and everything it happens on. So uh, this is a standard mathematical error. And so the basic syntax of how this works is by saying begin, and I put everything in this begin block that I want to run, and then I say rescue. And in the rescue one, I'm going to say rescued the air and then end. OK, now if I come back and run this. Oh, I guess it would help to write put so it will actually print out. There you go. So it says rescued the air. Now, this is the basic syntax. However, this would be a horrible idea for actually uh, running your application. Because if you think about it, uh, say that you had code like this, or it was possible that something like this could happen in your application, you want to actually fix this before it becomes a problem. So a big mistake and a big Ruby anti-pattern is by putting, when say you run into a error, this is a quick and dirty way to get it fixed. So uh, whenever you run into a program and you see some, a bunch of errors on them, uh, and then you see a bunch of these begin rescue blocks, a lot of the time that's bad code writing because this is an easy way to get it fixed. But at the end of the day, pretend this was a real life application. You would want to make it so 8 divided by 0 couldn't ever happen, whether that's placing some form validation or doing something in the actual logic of the code that would make this, uh, make this never even hit this rescue block. But before we got into the proper way to handle it and then some practical ways to do it, I wanted to show you the basic syntax. So you're going to have a begin, a start to it, rescue, and then an end. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how we would properly handle this situation.